Jimmy? Phoenix. <laughs> Name something that comes in pairs. Fred. Bananas. Oh, yeah. <laughs> three cartoon mascots of Rice Krispies cereal. Crispy Crunch. <laughs> Snap, crackle, and pop. What notorious actress held us spellbound in her last role as Golda Meir? Josh. Troy Spelling? <laughs> in something you might buy that could turn out to be phony. Yeah, a horse. <laughs> Things is the category this time. Kareem. Miners and No. <laughs> Something you squeeze. Peanut butter. <laughs> in what country will your husband say the last foreign car he rode in was manufactured, Fran? The United States. <laughs> That's not a foreign country. Um, Texas. Texas! We asked a hundred people to name a famous author. Kenny. Um, Shakespeare. Arthur Shakespeare. <laughs> Cuckoo. Blame. Cuckoo, friend, and Ollie. <laughs> a unicycle have? Two. One. In pop music, complete the name of Madonna's concert tour in 1990. Blonde what? Tart. Amish. Name a tradition associated with Christmas. Debbie. Hanukkah.
Here's a little taste of what we're talking about. Real or fictional? Name a famous Willie. Willie the Pooh? <laughs> if I can make it there, I'd make it anywhere. What city are we talking about, Jimmy? Phoenix. <laughs> Name something that comes in pairs. Bananas. Oh, Who are the three cartoon mascots of Rice Krispies cereal? Crispy Crunch. <laughs> Snap, crackle, and pop! What notorious actress held us spellbound in her last role as Golda Meir? Josh. Troy Spelling? <laughs> in something you might buy that could turn out to be phony. Yeah, a horse. <laughs> Things is the category this time. Kareem. Miners and <laughs> no. <laughs> Something you squeeze. Peanut butter. <laughs> in what country will your husband say the last foreign car he rode in was manufactured, friend? The United States. That's not a foreign country. Um, Texas. Texas! Let's play The Family Feud! Let's play The Family Feud! We surveyed 100 people. The top seven answers are on the board. Here's the question. Survey says... Survey says... Oh. Not there. Survey says... Oh. Not there. Survey says... Oh. Not there. Strike three. Too bad. Let's take a look at what you missed. Let's see number one. Oh. Can we see two, please? Oh. Let's see number three. Oh. Let's see number five. Oh. Let's see number six. Seven, let's see it. Let's see how you did. That's okay, you can still catch up. Let's play some more Feud. We surveyed 100 people. The top six answers are on the board. Here's the question.
Survey says... Survey says... Survey says... Survey says... Not there. Survey says... Not there. Survey says... Not there. Strike three. Too bad. Let's take a look at what you missed. Let's see number three. Let's see number five. Let's see number six. Let's see how you did. That's okay. You can still catch up. Time for round three. Point values are doubled. We surveyed 100 people. The top five answers are on the board. Here's the question. Too much time. <laughs> Survey says... <laughs> Survey says... <laughs> Not there. Survey says... Not there. Strike three. Too bad. Let's take a look at what you missed. Let's see number one. Can we see two, please? Let's see number three. Let's see number five. Let's see how you did. That's okay, you can still catch up. Point values are tripled. We surveyed 100 people. The top four answers are on the board. Here's the question. Survey says... <laughs> Survey says... <laughs> Not there. <laughs> Survey says... <laughs> Not there. Survey says... Not there. Strike three. Too bad. Let's take a look at what you missed. Let's see number one. Let's see number three. Let's see number four. 
Well, what's the final score? Do you go on to Fast Money? That's okay. You can still catch up. Oh, too bad. We'll see you next time on The Family Feud. That's our game. Hurry on back and play The Family Feud. Let's play... Let's play The Family Feud. We surveyed 100 people. The top seven answers are on the board. Here's the question. Survey says... Not there. Survey says... Not there. Survey says... Not there. Strike three. Too bad. Let's take a look at what you missed. Let's see number one. Can we see two, please? Let's see number three. Let's see number four. Let's see number five. Let's see number six. Seven, let's see it. Let's see how you did. That's okay, you can still catch up. Let's play some more Feud. We surveyed 100 people. The top six answers are on the board. Here's the question. Survey says... <laughs> Survey says... <laughs> Not there. Survey says... Not there. Not there. Strike three. Too bad. Let's take a look at what you missed. Let's see number one. Can we see two, please? Let's see number four. Let's see number five. Let's see number six. Let's see how you did. That's okay, you can still catch up. Time for round three. Point values are doubled. We surveyed 100 people. The top five answers are on the board. Here's the question. Survey says... Not there. Survey says... Survey says... <laughs> Survey, says, 
survey says... Oh. Not there. Survey says... <laughs> Survey says... Oh. Not there. Strike three. Too bad. Let's take a look at what you missed. Let's see number three. Let's see number five. Let's see how you did. That's okay, you can still catch up. Point values are tripled. We surveyed 100 people. The top four answers are on the board. Here's the question. Survey says... <laughs> Survey says... <laughs> Not there. <laughs> Survey says... Got that answer. Try again. Not there. Not there. Strike three. Too bad. Let's take a look at what you missed. Let's see number three. Let's see number four. But what's the final score? Do you go on to fast money? Good work. You're ahead. It's fast money. You'll have two chances to get 200 points and a bonus. If you don't know an answer, you can pass and we'll come back to it. You'll have 50 seconds. Clock, please. See how you did. We asked this question. You said. We asked you. You answered. We asked this question. You said. We asked you. You answered? We asked this question. You said... Give me 55 seconds on the clock.
Did you beat Fast Money and get those 20,000 bonus points? Let's see. We asked this question. You said... We asked you... You answered... We asked this question. You said... We asked you. You answered? No answer. Oh! We asked this question. You said? No answer. Oh! Who the top answer? That's our game! Hurry on back and play The Family Feud! Here's a little taste of what we're talking about. Fictional. Name a famous Willie. Willie the Pooh? <laughs> if I can make it there, I'd make it anywhere. What city are we talking about, Jimmy? Phoenix. <laughs> Name something that comes in pairs. Fred. Bananas. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Three cartoon mascots of Rice Krispies cereal. Crispy Crunch. <laughs> Snap, crackle, and pop. What notorious actress held us spellbound in her last role as Golda Meir? Josh. For a spelling? <laughs> mean something you might buy that could turn out to be phony. Yeah, a horse. <laughs> Things is the category this time. Kareem. Miners and no. <laughs> Something you squeeze. Peanut butter. <laughs> in what country will your husband say the last foreign car he rode in was manufactured, Fran? The United States. <laughs> It's not a foreign country. Um, Texas. Texas! We asked a hundred people to name a famous Arthur. Kenny. Um, Shakespeare. Arthur Shakespeare. <laughs> Cuckoo. Blame. Cuckoo friend and Ollie. Cycle have? Two. One. In pop music, complete the name of Madonna's concert tour in 1990. Blonde what? Tart. Amish. Name a tradition associated with Christmas. Debbie. Hanukkah. <laughs> name the 1944 film in which a young Elizabeth Taylor wins a horse in a raffle and trains it to race. J. National Geographic. I don't know. 
girls. If your husband were a bachelor again, would the first girl he'd call for a date be someone where he works, someone in your neighborhood, or one of your friends? Oh, Michelle? Yeah. Probably a friend. One of your friends? Yes. Oh. But does it necess It has to be a girl, right? <laughs> People, your time starts now. A group of pill pushers?
here's a little taste of what we're talking about. Real or fictional? Name a famous Willie. Willie the Pooh? <laughs> If I can make it there, I'd make it anywhere. What city are we talking about, Jimmy? Phoenix. <laughs> Name something that comes in pairs. Fred. Bananas. Oh, yeah. Who are the three cartoon mascots of Rice Krispies cereal? Crispy Crunch. <laughs> What notorious actress held us spellbound in her last role as Golda Meir? Josh. Troy Spelling? <laughs> in something you might buy that could turn out to be phony. Yeah, a horse. <laughs> Things is the category this time. Kareem. Miners and... No. <laughs> Something you squeeze. Peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> in what country will your husband say the last foreign car he rode in was... Hello everyone, I am Texty and I will be your host to this revisit back to one of my favorite You Don't Know Jack question types ever. But before we start, we need a value. Player one, it's up to you. Bingo. Bingo. A lonely farmer and his dog, they played this little game. Oh, B-O-I-N-K, 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 they called it puppy love. Ugh. Welcome to Boink. Let me show you how this works. You're going to see some clues like this. When you think you've got the answer, wait until the first letter of that answer lights up on the screen and buzz in. If you're right, you get £500 and you win that letter. But you'll lose 500 if you're wrong. Be the first to collect all the letters and you win the bonus. All clear? Good. We're going in. US sitcom Brooklyn blank blank. Nine nine. Queen's lead guitarist. Brian Mallory. Construction toy system introduced in 1992. It's Apparently, no man is this. No man is an island. Ready Player One's virtual reality world. Tony Stark's alter ego. Iron Man. All your Lord and Lords. You'll find your hippocampus in here. It's all in your mind. Animals active during the night are this. Not 
Eternal. Victoria Corner Mitchell, BBC Two, Quiz Show. Only connect. Only one more for a bonus player one. 0.621 of a mile. Nicely done, player one. You know what? Let's go again. Player two, it's your turn to pick an amount. I saw a movie late last night and it just scared me shitless. S C A R Y S C A R Y S C A R Y. I think I saw my bridges. Welcome to Scary. You know how this works by now. Let's go. Current home of the Formula One British Grand Prix. And Silverstone. Norwegian comedy duo who really want to know what the fox says. That'll be Yulvis. Martin Garrix's 2013 hit single. Where are the fucking animals? What kinds of fullerene is comprised of these atoms? Carbon. 60 of them. US National Park containing Old Faithful. Yellowstone National Park. To bring that to life. Heroes never die. Mike Myers, Ogre Persona. He's got shit. Just one more player, one go get. Bioshock's underwater city. Welcome to Rapture. Just one more player too. And his game show, The Blank Maze. Will you start the fans, please? Scary. Player one takes it. So that was my take on Jack Bingo, a question type originally featured in You Don't Know Jack Volume 4, The Ride. I hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see the other You Don't Know Jack videos and mashups I've done, head on over to my main channel. And just to throw it in there, I also have a second channel, TextD21.play, where you'll find highlights of the games I play with my friends. But in the meantime, Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Pocket you, 4,000 huh? bucks to get this close, one right. But yep, nothing's I more guess American. I can seat you. Oh, and anyone else who wants to get in can be in the audience.
Audience members get to guess the truth and pick decoy lies to fool the players. Let's play. This is round one. That means you can pick up 500 points for tricking your opponent with your made-up answer. And you'll score 1,000 for finding the truth. Time to pick a category. All right, question one. In 2012, the Canadian Mint put the fun back in capitalism by releasing a 25-cent coin that featured blank. Now, write a lie in your device that your opponent might think is true. If you're stuck, for half the points, you can hit the lie for me button and get a suggestion. Do it already. Okay, those are the choices. Touch the truth on your device now. All right, let's see what you guys picked. category. Let's see how this strikes you. For a limited time in 2017, cans of cherry coke in China feature the face of blank. Write your lies now. Okay, which one's the truth? Okay, what did everyone pick? The promotion was clearly targeted to kids. Hey, let me show you something. It's time to look at this. This bold fashion statement is the patented blank suit. To your lies now. <laughs> All right, find the truth. I love this part. How does that protect the shark? On to round two, where all point values are doubled. 
select a category. Here's a question for you. In February of 2017, police in the UK had to break up a fight on a train that broke out after passengers kept placing blank on another passenger's head. Type in your lies now. Okay, here you go. Find the truth. All right, let's see what everybody picked. The fight was because no one brought cream cheese. Okay, pick a category. Here's the question. When ancient Greek children reached adulthood, they were expected to please the gods by putting their blank on an altar. Okay, enter your lies. Use the lie for me button if you're stuck. Okay, find the truth. All right, who picked what? That was a complete miss. The Greeks invented the yo-yo. That's not a euphemism. Give me a category. All right, here it is. David Lloyd Clubs unveiled a new fitness class in 2017 to their Sid Cup London location. To get in shape, people spent 45 minutes blank. All right, type in your lies. Okay, seek the truth. Let's see what everybody selected.
It's final fibbage time. Pay attention, because this last one's worth triple points. Have fun. Jonathan and Drew Scott, a.k.a. the Property Brothers, have an older brother named J.D. who has performed in Las Vegas as an impersonator of blank and blank. And to your lies now. Okay, take a look and find the truth. And what did people pick?